Welcome everybody, I'm Katya, and this is a gentle Hatha yoga practice. If anything doesn't feel right in your body, then please listen to your body first and foremost. For this yoga practice, you'll see me using a yoga block and a strap. They look like this. You don't have to use them. If you'd like to use something similar and you don't have this, then you could easily use a firm pillow. For a yoga strap, it's just like basically a long belt. If you don't have something similar or this exact thing, use a long belt, a scarf, a long sock will also work. Okay, so we're gonna begin with laying down on our back. Once you get onto your back, let's bend the knees and place the feet about hip width apart. And we'll start with placing our hands palms down on our belly and closing the eyes. Let's settle in here with a nice, deep, full belly breath. Now as you inhale, use your hands here as a focal point of where your breath is beginning. So feel the swelling of your breath like a balloon below your hands. And then slowly move your breath laterally out into the ribs like an accordion. And lastly, up into the chest. As you exhale, feel the entire breath emptying from the top all the way to the bottom like a glass of water. Inhale again, belly rising, side ribs slowly expanding and chest rising up. Nice long exhale. Feel the breath emptying itself and the shoulders relaxing into the floor. Not forcing the breath, just encouraging it to lengthen without any stress or tension. As you exhale, feel your whole body exhaling, even your bones breathing out any tension. And feel how heavy you can allow your body to become. The head heavy and feel the connection of your back on the floor. And one more big breath. As you exhale, feel any tension here from brain or body, mind or heart releasing. And then slowly you can open your eyes and let's bring both of our knees up towards our chest. Now we can wrap our hands around the shins. If that feels a little bit <clears throat> challenging for you, you can bring your hands around the backs of your thighs. You could also use your strap around your legs if you'd prefer. So keeping a hold of our legs, we can roll here a little bit side to side. Unless of course that bothers your back and then you could just hold it stable. As you go side to side, try to bring the legs in a little bit closer and then a little bit further away. So you can go right down across your tailbone, and across your hips, all the way up into that lower and maybe even some of the mid back. One more breath. And then without rolling, let's just hold it here at center. Nice big inhale. And as you exhale, let's hold on to just the right shin and slowly extend the left leg all the way down along the floor. We'll glide the right knee in towards the chest, relaxing into that right hip and pressing the back of your left thigh down, reaching into that left heel. And let the arms do the work for you, the shoulders relaxed. And as you begin to relax into this, maybe you can feel that leg settling in towards the body a little bit more. One more big breath. Now keeping a hold of that right shin with just your left hand, open the right arm out to the side with the palm up. Nice big in breath. 
And as you exhale, slowly draw the leg all the way over towards the left. Now as you allow the leg to release to the left, you can let your right hip come up off of the floor and then let your head roll back towards that right shoulder. Your left hand will create a little bit of an anchor on your right leg, but we don't wanna be pulling the leg down past our range of motion or past our levels of comfort here. So it's just creating a little bit of a base. And then let's breathe down into the center of your body, expanding the breath outwards from the belly. Inhale. And as you exhale, slowly bring that leg all the way back up. And we can straighten the right leg all the way down along the floor. Let's bring the left knee in towards the chest now, wrapping the hands around the front of the left shin and gliding the knee in towards your chest as you firm the back of the right leg down. I mean, even though the arms are active and they're helping to pull the leg in here, let's ensure that the shoulders haven't crawled up to the ears so we can drop them down towards the floor. Letting the breath ease you in here, layer by layer, exhale by exhale, sinking that knee in towards the chest. And then slowly, keeping just your right hand around that left shin, let's open the left arm out nice and wide. Inhale. And as you exhale, begin to track the knee over towards the right, allowing the left hip to roll up off of the floor, and then rolling your head back towards that left shoulder. Feel the breath moving down into your belly and bring it right into your lower back. As you exhale, feel the spine unwinding into this. Inhale. And as you exhale, slowly bring that leg all the way back up. And let's release the left foot to the floor and we can bend the right knee as well and bring the right foot to the floor. So let's take a hold of that strap now <clears throat> and we can extend the right leg up towards the ceiling, bringing the strap around the sole of our right foot. Press up into the strap so the right leg becomes straight, inhale. And as you exhale, slowly straighten your left leg down along the floor. So if you need to back that right leg off just a little bit once the left leg comes down, you can. And let's ensure that the legs are straight by pressing into the heels. Again, make sure that the shoulders haven't clenched. And let's have a few deep breaths here. Imagining that your inhalation is going right into your hamstrings of that right leg to the back of your right thigh. And as you exhale, see if you can create a little bit of space and length from your sitting bone all the way to your heel. One more big breath. And then we can gather both ends of the strap now into the right hand only. Inhale. And as you exhale, begin to open the leg out to the right side. Now as you do that, place your left hand onto your left hip to create an anchor. And we'll press down with that hand to ensure that the hip remains level. Drawing the right leg out, let's make sure that it stays straight by pressing into the heel, squeezing your thigh. Have an extra breath here. Inhale. And as you exhale, slowly draw that leg all the way back up. 
Now let's switch the ends of the strap into the left hand, keeping the strap though still around our right leg. <clears throat> Open the right arm out to the side, inhale, straighten that right leg, and exhale, slowly draw the right leg now to the left. Now as you do that, you can allow that right hip to lift up off of the floor if you have that range of motion. And then let your head roll back again towards that right shoulder. Reaching into the inner arch of your right foot will really sweeten that stretch up. Take your breath and fill your belly. Exhale, let that leg get heavy. Inhale. And as you exhale, let's draw the right leg all the way back up. Rebend that right knee, placing the right foot on the floor. And let's take the left leg all the way up, bringing the strap around the sole of your left foot. <coughs> Relax the shoulders, inhale. And as you exhale, straighten the right leg all the way down onto the floor. Softening the shoulders and deepening the breath. One more big breath here. Breathing into the left leg right into that heel. Let's gather both ends of the strap now into the left hand only. Inhale, straighten the leg, open the right arm out wide. And exhale, begin to lower the left leg out to the left side. Now again, to keep the hip anchored, we could bring the right hand onto the right hip. Press down through the right hand to anchor it and press out into that left leg. Breathing into the belly, into the side ribs and the chest, just like we did at the beginning. Expanding the breath and as you exhale, letting the leg get heavy. Inhale. And as you exhale, slowly bring that leg all the way back up. Now let's keep that left leg up there and we'll bring our right leg up as well inside of the strap. And in this position, begin to point the toes up towards the ceiling, stretching out the shins and the tops of your feet. And then flexing the feet and drawing the toes down towards you, reaching into the heels. Inhale, point the toes, stretch. And exhale, flex the feet. Reach into the heels and straighten the legs. One more time, inhale, point. And exhale, draw down. Good, neutral feet. Inhale. And as you exhale, let's try to widen the legs apart along the strap, as wide as they'll comfortably go. Now as you do that, let's plug the shoulders down and straighten the legs by pressing into the heels and squeezing the thighs. Now you could maintain this, or if you'd like to release the hips a little bit, we could rock a little bit here, side to side. And then without rolling, just settling into the center of the back. Inhale. And as you exhale, pulling on the ends of the strap and bringing the legs all the way back together. Releasing the strap and bending the feet, placing them down to the floor. And the strap can just go off to the side now. In this position now, let's cross our right ankle onto our left thigh. So this may well be enough for you. And if that is, what you could do is place your right hand to the inside of your right thigh and just press it away in order to increase that stretch. But if you'd like to go a little bit further, draw your left knee towards you, reaching your right hand through that window that your two legs create, and then interlace your fingers behind your left thigh. Or if you're really flexible, 
you could go to the front of your left shin. You could also use your strap and lasso the back of your left thigh if you'd like. And then rest your head down onto the floor. So if the floor feels further away for you, I would just suggest again using a pillow or a block underneath your head. So keep that flexion through your right foot. Plug the shoulders down. And if you'd like, you can create some movement here by rocking a little bit side to side. Sometimes that can help us to release into that right hip and the low back. If it doesn't feel right for you, just hold it static. And then without rolling, let's just hold it here at center and have an extra breath here. Nice big inhale into the hip. And as you exhale, just see if we can draw those legs in a little bit closer. And then slowly release the hands, keep the legs in this shape though, and we'll just bring the left leg down to the floor. The right is still crossed on top. Let's open the arms out nice and wide. Inhale. And as you exhale, slowly lowering the legs over to the left. So it's the outer left knee that's coming down towards the floor here. And this may well be enough. If it is, you can hold it here. You can bring your left hand to the inside of your right thigh and press the thigh away from you in order to open to that hip a little bit more fully. Keeping flexion though through your right foot to stabilize the knee. So an extra breath here. Release the left arm out wide again. And slowly bring the knees all the way back up. Let's uncross that right leg. Taking the left now on top of our right. Again, flex your left foot to stabilize the knee. Slowly hug the knee up towards you, reaching your left hand now through the legs and interlacing your fingers to the back of your right thigh or the front of your right shin if you'd prefer and resting your head down onto the floor. Feel free here to roll again side to side. And then without rolling, just settling into the very center of your back. Let's make sure that the shoulders haven't clenched. Inhale. And as you exhale, you can deepen into that pose if you'd like a little bit by drawing the legs in closer. And then slowly releasing your right foot to the floor. Keeping the left leg on top, let's open the arms out wide, inhale. And as you exhale, slowly lower the legs over to the right. Lowering the right knee down towards the floor. To go further, we'll bring the right hand to the inside of that left thigh and press it away. Relax the shoulders. Breathe down into the area of the body where you're feeling the most resistance or the strongest sense of release. Inhale, open that right arm out wide. And as you exhale, slowly bring the knees all the way back up. Let's uncross them. And again, we can bring our knees in towards our chest, wrapping the hands around the shins, having a little roll here side to side. So we're gonna now elevate the feet all the way up towards the ceiling and hook our hands around the outer edges of the feet. If that doesn't feel accessible for you, you could use your strap and have the straps, the ends of the strap in your hands and lasso it around the feet here. Otherwise, let's sink those knees in towards the sides of your ribs here, the soles of the feet facing the ceiling. And if you'd like, you could roll a little bit here side to side. Letting the knees sink towards the sides of the ribs as you deepen into the hips. And then without rolling, just holding it here at center, a nice big inhale. And as you exhale, slowly release the feet all the way down onto the floor. Good. 
Open the arms out wide. Inhale the knees to the chest again. And exhale, let's lower the legs now all the way over to the right. Now if it's too far to bring the legs right down to the floor, you can always bring a pillow underneath your right knee or between the knees if that feels more suitable. Let your arms and shoulders completely relax, legs heavy. And then roll your head loosely back towards your left shoulder. Have a nice, big, full breath here. Inhale. And exhaling, one by one, bring your legs all the way back up towards your chest. Inhale here. Exhaling, lowering the legs now over towards the left. Letting the head roll back towards the right. Filling your belly up with your breath. Sweeping your breath into your lower back and into the side ribs. Nice big inhale. And as you exhale one by one, bring the legs all the way back up. And then slowly rest the feet down onto the floor. And let's place the hands on the belly, close the eyes and have a nice deep breath. Good, opening the eyes. We'll roll now over to one side and then up into all fours. So we can move that block, block off to the side and placing the hands now directly below the shoulders and the knees directly below the hips into a tabletop position. Let's inhale here with a neutral spine. And as you exhale, begin to slowly curl the tailbone under and round your back, looking towards your belly button, tucking the chin. And as you inhale, rolling the tailbone up, drawing the spine into the body and looking forward. Exhale, scoop the tailbone, begin to round the back, lifting the rib cage, tucking the chin. Inhale, slowly begin to roll the spine. It's like a string of pearls here, bone by bone. Continue to move with your own rhythm and length of breath. Staying within a range of motion that feels comfortable for your back. And then slowly coming back into a neutral position. So from here, sinking your hips all the way back towards your, your heels, stretching your arms out long and bringing your forehead to the floor into child's pose. Have a breath into your back body here. As you exhale, feel the hips sinking and getting heavy. Now walking both of your hands up and over towards the right, stretching that left arm as high as you can so you can feel that length from your left hip through the ribs into the armpit all the way into that left arm. Big breath here. Walk the hands to center and then all the way over to the opposite side. Stretching that right arm up nice and tall and then a big puffy breath out into the right side of your ribs. Good, 
back to center. Inhale. And as you exhale, slowly lifting all the way up into all fours. And then we're gonna come all the way down onto the belly. Once we get onto the belly, let's open the arms out wide into a cactus shape so that our elbows will be at the same height as our shoulders and the forearms will be parallel. Gather the, the legs towards one another, bringing the tops of your feet onto the floor. And let's just begin by squeezing the legs and pointing your toes. Draw the pubic bone down and the belly button in. Inhale. And as you exhale, begin to lift your head and chest up off of the floor. And then slowly pressing the hands down into the floor in order to elevate up. There should be no pinchiness or compression in the lower back. And if there is, make sure to lower down. Inhale. And as you exhale, slowly lower all the way down. Now we'll re be repeating this a few times. So you could leave your hands here if this feels like enough of a stretch for you. If you'd like to go further, bring the hands down a little bit closer towards your body and in a little bit. Again, squeeze the legs, draw the pubic bone down, engage the pelvic floor, inhale. And as you exhale, lift your head and chest up off of the floor, pressing the hands down, broadening the chest, plugging the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale. And as you exhale, slowly lower your whole body back down. Have a breath here. Again, you could slide your hands down and in towards you a little bit more if you'd like to deepen into that back bend. Squeeze the legs, draw the pubic bone down, inhale, firm belly. Exhale, begin to lengthen the spine up, pressing into the arms to the height that works for your back, keeping the shoulders plugged down. Inhale. And exhale, slowly begin to lower your body down. And once you get down to the floor, turning your head and resting on one cheek, having a breath here. Okay, so let's bend the left knee now. We'll reach our left hand back and take a hold of the foot. If the foot's not accessible, you could always grab a pant leg or you can use a strap around your foot. In this position, let's make sure that the knee doesn't flare out to the side. And we'll draw the heel straight in line with the sitting bone. And now begin to draw the pubic bone down, squeezing the pelvic floor in your glutes a little bit. You'll feel that will increase that stretch a little bit higher into the thigh and into the hip. Have a breath here. Good, and release. Let's take that to the opposite side now. Nice big inhale. Exhale, squeeze your bum a little bit and draw the pubic bone down as you take the heel in towards your sitting bone. Good, and a slow release. Placing your hands below your shoulders so you're able to press yourself all the way up into all fours again. And then slowly sitting yourself back, hips towards the heels, forehead to floor. But this time we'll bring our hands to beside our hips and our body palms facing up. Let the shoulders relax. Fill your back body with your inhale. As you exhale, relax your lungs. Relax your seat. Relax your shoulders. Good. 
And then slowly pressing yourself back up into a seated position. So we'll be moving into Shavasana now, the end relaxation. So if you'd like a blanket over your body, you could do that. And if you'd like a pillow below your head, you could also do that. If your lower back is at all sore, just feel free to take a pillow below your knees. So let's lay all the way down. And once we get down, open the arms out so that the palms can turn up and the eyes can close. And let's begin with a nice, full, deep belly breath. So we'll take two breaths now, in through the nose and out through the mouth, inhaling. Open the mouth, exhale. Again, inhale. Open the mouth, exhale. Allowing the footprint of your body to completely relax into the ground. And feeling the weight of your legs as you loosen the ankles and the knees. Feel the thigh muscles draping over the bones effortlessly, releasing up into the hips. And feel the weight of your pelvis relaxing into the ground. The length of your spine warm and supported on the floor. As you inhale, feel the belly rising, the ribs broadening, the chest opening up. And as you exhale, feel the ribs moving in towards the lungs, the belly relaxing towards the spine. Inhale, feel the chest rising up. As you exhale, relax the chest into your upper back and your shoulders. Arms heavy at your sides. Relaxing the elbows and the wrists. Loosening the fingers. Relaxing the neck and the throat. And letting the jaw relax. A small separation between your teeth. And the face expressionless. Relax the eyes. Feel your brain relaxing onto the back of your skull. Any last areas of tension releasing with the breath. Now feel free to remain here as long as you like. And as you feel ready, you can roll to one side, ease yourself up, and have a wonderful day. Namaste.